honey, allow me to be your sign that you have been asking for and been needing to let go of that situation that has been doing nothing but causing you stress and anxiety, honey. It is not worth it for it to be living in your mind rent free and you're not being paid for it, honey. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Capricorn, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading Capricorn. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly tarot reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which tarot cards do and how they do Capricorn because that is how what you got with you guys is through the comments. As well, if you enjoy this reading Capricorn or you just enjoy my vibe, I'd really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe Capricorn because it does help me out a lot. Now, I'm super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot channel that way. Um, as well, I just want to say before we get into this reading this week, uh, for you Capricorn, I just want to remind you to use your intuition. Because put it in perspective, I'm just a man using, uh, using some tarot cards <laughs> for you who apparently cannot even speak right now. Um, I'm, you know, these cards are here just to give you some food for thought, perspective to consider. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so if it doesn't resonate, and then leave what doesn't, because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever, Capricorn, I promise you. So, all that being said now, I guess we can finally get into your weekly tarot reading, because I apparently cannot just get this intro out, darling. So, <laughs> Capricorn, I pulled some tarot cards for you, uh, just so I could see where it is that you guys are currently at. Um, in your progression, right? And you're on your journey, on your own path. Uh, so cards I pulled for you guys, the Six of Earth, or the Six of Pentacles in the normal tarot. Pentacles equal Earth energy. Uh, we have the Six of Fire for you guys, or the Six of Wands in normal tarot, because Wands is fire energy. Uh, we have the Release card, Archangel Azrael, number 13, equaling to 4. So write down the number 4. Uh, Capricorn, y'all didn't know that you're gonna have, uh, this is gonna be an educational reading, did y'all, Capricorn? Write down the number four to look up for numerology later, Capricorn, as well as if you're open to working with Archangels, Capricorn, uh, depending on your belief system, as your Archangel Azrael would be the wonder uh, wonderful Archangels to connect with this week, as well as Archangel Metatron. You guys also got the Dreamer card, number zero. Um, so really just focus on the number four for numerology this week for you guys, Capricorn. And the Dreamer card is uh, the Fool card in Normal Tarot. I'm not sure, I can't remember off the top of my head what the release card is. I'm pretty sure it's the Death card. Actually, I'm, I know it's the Death card, actually. <laughs> These cards don't look nearly as dramatic, right? When you just have it as release instead of uh, death, it sounds a lot less intimidating and a lot more uh, joyful, does it not? Especially when it's attached to an archangel, honey. Uh, so give me a moment, Capricorn, as I take these cards in, just to figure how, out how this puzzle wants to be put together. Um, okay, so we're going to be starting with, we're going to put this one here, we're going to be starting with this one, this one, and then this one. All right, so uh, we have, we're going to start out with your release card, Archangel Astral uh, Capricorn, so let me read it out for you. The end of a phase or situation, a spiritual transformation, and it's time to move on. So as I said, I'm pretty sure, uh, don't hold me to it, but I'm almost positive this is the death card because it's kind of the same message, uh, Capricorn, where um, similar to Taurus, and I know actually in your bonus reading as well, Capricorn, you guys especially, uh, in your bonus reading that I did for y'all, which you haven't seen at Capricorn, I'll leave a link to it over here. I just recently did it for y'all. Uh, I know some of you guys, uh, Capricorn, were in this process of like kind of like blocking something out and uh, just being checked out from a situation, you know, just in terms of like I'll just more so as an example, not because it doesn't, I don't feel like it has to do with um, necessarily people in specific for you Capricorn uh, but it's kind of like this energy where it's like you let go of like an old situation of where it's like you were putting up a lot of your energy uh, into it and it, it feels like when you have it attached with the least uh, release card it feels like there's not a um, 
like there's just this sense of a uh, heaviness attached to like what it is that you had to release like it feels like i don't know if like this old situation was like burdensome uh, where it's taking up all your energy or just like finances i heard um because i feel like it's just like i'm being shown something being like drained so i don't know if you're like this old situation that you had to release was financially draining maybe some of you capricorns paid off a debt um but it feels like whatever it was that was draining you or just keep weighing you keeping keeping you down and heavy and just distracting you essentially capricorn it seems to be like that it is that is what it is you're releasing yourself from you know what it is that you blocked out because i really do feel like get the sense that you uh capricorn were in control of this decision of this release or this death moment right the ending of a chapter or closing out or completing a cycle with something so let's see here i pulled some extra cards for you guys on this we have the nine of pentacles with the full card again uh with the king of pentacles so ooh, a lot of you capricorns seemingly uh are like letting go of like a situation like this is very much so i'm going to be honest the capricorn and energy of someone that's like recently moved or in the process of like now like getting the ball rolling to like moving like changing environments changing jobs right with all these pentacles energy whatever it is you guys are starting like new right now we'll get into your dreamer card later on like your fool card uh later on uh capricorn for sure so i don't want to hone in on this message too much but um definitely like just honing in on like uh, it seems to be Capricorn like you guys are letting go of the situation because something else presented itself to you almost um, or at the very least you guys are Capricorn are at this mindset of being like whatever it was that was draining you you checked out from it and you're ready to finally just like gets you know almost like some people I guess would kind of confuse the, confuse this energy for a level of like entitlement where it's just like you know, it's just like, no, I deserve to be paid more, right? So you're looking for better job options that would pay for better and bring forth better stability for you, uh, Capricorn. It just feels like the sense of where it's like, you know your worth, uh, Capricorn. And so whatever, because you know your worth, whatever this, like you were releasing and putting an end to things that were not uh, respecting your worth on some level very good very good and so because of that capricorn then we get into your six of earth or your six of pentacles right a lot of pentacle energy for you which makes sense because you are an earth sign uh capricorn but it really is just honing in like pentacles just like you can't neglect the message of um financial things but like pentacles is always just dealing with uh overall stability as well being earth energy um, this said uh the six of pentacles uh this or yeah six of earth this says gifts of money time or effort uh new career opportunities i forgot this card even says that so really putting in on the message that i was saying before it does feel like you guys are understanding your worth capricorn and being like this old job is not paying me enough and you're like now already to you and like some of you guys just take this chance and be self-employed but i'm getting ahead of myself and this says receiving loans or paying off debts i also forgot it said this as well and i said like you guys maybe some of you guys are paying off like you guys paid off a debt that was like draining you um or just like maybe cut off a situation from something that was just like very financially taxing for you i don't know anyways with the six of earth this is what i really want to hone in on the message especially with the imagery and showing you the scales of it i feel like once you release that this is like what brings things kind of like back into balance for you um notice also you had the full card from before uh capricorn which i want to point out it's the number zero and we got into your dream well get into your dreamer card next capricorn but the full card is a card of like a fresh start but i don't want to say fresh start it's like the beginning of a new journey capricorn so it's like this constant message of just like releasing some type of old like situation that is draining you and now leaning into this new energy that's just a lot more fulfilling for yourself and more rewarding for yourself it's just finding like your own balance um with things it just feels like now instead of like working like the negatives um everything kind of feels like it's at the state of being neutral 
which is really good, I feel like Capricorn. But let's see what clarifying cards we can get for this as well. <clears throat> see if we can get a little bit more insight on this Capricorn. But um, how are it? How was y'all's weekend? Are y'all planning anything for the uh, new moon, Capricorn? Let me know. Or I guess if you are watching this after the new moon happens, let me know if y'all what y'all did for the new moon. I have to look up still what uh, new moon this is, but. I have a pretty good idea what it is I want to do for this moon. So the cards that we pulled, six is following you a lot. So I know I told you to write down the number four Capricorn, and I was going to mention six just from, because you have the six of earth and the six of fire that I'm showing you, um, but I kind of hesitated. But the clarifiers that we have for your six of earth Capricorn is the six of swords. <laughs> Uh, the wheel card, right? Wheel of Fortune, and the Six of Wands again for you. So this is what's bringing you that success. Like I really do feel like whatever it is, uh, Capricorn, that you finally got to push like the reset button on, bring back to neutral. Um, notice again, it's this common theme of having to leave a situation. That's like it's like the necessity. Like you. Uh, Capricorn leaving a situation, you putting distance between you and a situation from before that was not appreciating your self-worth, right? That's what gets the wheels of fortune starting to turn in your favor because that's what gets things into balance for you that now like it's starting the momentum's going forward uh, for you because of you choosing to move on Capricorn. Because of this, you know, what happens when the Wheel of Fortune starts turning in your favor, other than the obvious of, like, fortune, right? You get the Six of Wands, and this is what I'm saying, like, you keep on getting the Sixes following you. So, Six and Four, I'm gonna say Capricorn for you guys to look up. But Six of Wands, this is the, the, the victory card, right? You'll see it when I show you guys the Six of Fire in a moment, and, and a little bit Capricorn. But this is the card of just, like, public recognition, victory, uh, and just kind of like a thumbs up, right? Things just finally start working out for you, Capricorn. A really positive reading so far uh, for you. So yeah, so leaning into this, like you brought things into balance, you're having the, those wheel, like the Wheel of Fortune turning into your favor, right? It's exactly the energy that you want, Capricorn, as the fool to the dreamer. Right, with Archangel Metatron. This card says a leap of faith, follow your dreams, and unexpected opportunities. Uh, so, as I was saying before, with the Fool card, this is a card of someone who's starting out on the beginning of a new journey. Um, deals with passion, right? And something, I mean, obviously it doesn't really make that much of a difference, but I noticed that you guys got nothing Capricorn besides Earth um, and fire energy so it's all about the passion that brings forth a lot of like stability into your life even though you guys are journeying into like something completely like uncharted territories right because you're you're leaving your comfort zone by being the dreamer and taking that leap of faith on something right it's like acknowledging being like all right this old situation over here wasn't appreciating my worth i have to have take this leap of faith and trust that me leaving this old situation will open up this new situation that will appreciate my worth and pay give me the payout that I know that I am worth, right? That's where your leap of faith comes in for Capricorn. And so then we get a little bit more detail for this. <clears throat> Continuing on with this wand energy, no cups at all for you, Capricorn. So we got the Ace of Wands for your Dreamer card. Uh, the Ace of Wands, the Knight of Wands, with the Hermit card. So oddly enough, um, I don't know if that old situation Capricorn is where it's like you're leaving like a person behind, and like and so then from there like you're in this hermiting phase where you're not really messing with anybody else. You're not interested in entertaining anyone else. You're kind of just focused on your grind, on your passion. Um, but this also is just is an energy of just like self-reflection and just being extremely self-aware, I like to say, just because it's like you're looking at yourself and you're looking at what it is that you can do to improve on yourself. 
um, just really in this constant state of refinement. And we have it paired with this Fool card, this Dreamer card. You know, you started out in this new journey, this Hermit card. It's almost just like you're now finally Capricorn, finally, um, how many times can I say finally? Uh, learning who you, who Capricorn truly is almost, right? Because now that you start at zero, no longer having, you know, things are finally in balance. You finally get this chance to really uh, figure you out, what makes Capricorn tick, right? Uh, because and I feel like it's attached to this new journey. So I really do feel like it's essential for you, Capricorn, to um, put this closing chapter, like close off that last chapter for you if you haven't yet, Capricorn, because all your energy is really focused on like, through this transition and starting this new journey, it's just like all your cards are talking about forward movement and going, leaning into like this new journey. Excuse me, Capricorn. Um, with the Knight of Wands, that forward movement into passion, right? Things happening quickly. Ace of Wands as well. This is where it's like you are the one taking that wand and going forward. Like, it's all forward energy. <laughs> Capricorn, I don't know. Like, there's really not too much else to it, right? Um, I always like to explain what the cards mean, but also like look up the cards themselves. Um, if you know if you're if you're not believing like me right um about it because i'm not just saying these words just because like it's really what the cards themselves and the meaning are are um and so finally uh capricorn as promised as i was going to do for you uh we have the six of wands or the six of fire right uh this card says victory good news is on its way public recognitions or rewards Capricorn, right? It's you going into this new journey. This is where um, your victory is. This is where you get rewarded for your hard work. So, uh, I don't know if I. <laughs> I feel like you kind of, you guys kind of get the point of what I was saying before. Like I don't need, you know, I'm like holding myself back on like repeating that message. But it's just kind of like I hope that you, uh, Capricorn take heed to just like going into this new journey the nine of wands here this is the journey card and this is like the card i say is like someone going to the grand canyon and taking a road trip by themselves to learn more about themselves right back of the deck energy uh the clarifiers we have though for your uh six of fire capricorn is the eight of cups honey <laughs> This Eight of Cups, this is the card of leaving that old situation. Really, again, honing in on this, like, I don't know how else to, like, put this. Like, I know it's repetitive, Capricorn, but repetitive messages is kind of what you want when it comes to using multiple tarot decks, because then it lets you know that these cards aren't just coming forward by chance, you know? Um, and then the Four of Wands with the Three of Wands. So literally all Wands cards, you finally got your cup, Card, but it's a cup card that's where you're leaving something into the past going out into the unknown right um and because it's through the unknown that you get that recognition oddly enough so with the three of wands and the four of wands this is just kind of the journey that you guys are on this is signaling to me the the way that you identify capricorn of how you're on the right path is that you're going to get obvious signs throughout the way. You're going to be left breadcrumbs leading you up to your Four of Wands to that 1111 portal card, uh, Capricorn, right? The Three of Wands is the card where it's like you start seeing signs, right? You start seeing far off in the distance that land, right? And then this is what's on that land. So really, <laughs> like you leaving the situation like it seems like you're going out into the unknown capricorn but you're just following the breadcrumbs right you're following the breadcrumbs and going into that four of wands this is when you get that victory capricorn like it's kind of like a instead of drop mic it's kind of like a drop tarot <laughs> moment right i'm really excited for you guys capricorn so definitely let me know in the comments below what it is that you guys are um transitioning from Capricorn. So I'm really curious because Spirit just is very repetitive messages just through all the different tarot decks, like using different cards kind of, like we kept getting the same cards in some of the decks with the Six of Wands and stuff. But um, yeah, it's very interesting. 
That is the cards that I have for you this week, Capricorn. Remember, I did your bonus reading. Uh, if you want to check that out, if this reading wasn't enough for you. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below which tarot cards resonate with you. Also, Capricorn, I do uh, weekly zodiac readings for all the zodiac signs, not just yours, Capricorn. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not tiny, um, send them one of my videos and maybe they can find a tarot message that resonates with them. But until next time, Capricorn, I love you so much. Bye.